Hi, my name is Zach Nicklin. I'm with the National Center for Autonomous Technologies and Northland Community and Technical College. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to go about building the NIST small UAS uh, open test lanes. So with these test lanes, you'll need four devices. And these are kind of what I'm calling the devices here. This is the, the stand that's going to hold our buckets that we use to perform the test. Um, you need four of these stands in order to do the, the test lane correctly. And so for initial supplies, what you're going to need is you're going to need 16 feet of 2x4 and you're going to need 2 feet of 4x4. You're also going to need uh, some screws, some standard 2.5 gallon buckets, and then you'll need some labels. Uh, we printed or we got our labels from OnlineLabels.com and you can see the, the part number here. Uh, so you'll be able to order them for yourself. They just come in 8 inch circles and the Actual stuff that you print on them can be found on the NIST website. Uh, there'll be a link to their Google Drive, and that Google Drive has uh, has all of the designs for this. Um, they're really great. Uh, they come with a, with a pre-cutout circle that fits right in the bottom of the bucket, and it even tells you at the bottom exactly where they're placed uh, within the exact stand. So, uh, really nice. We we did get the the polyester ones. Or I'm sorry. The, yeah, polyester ones, uh, they're, they're a little more weatherproof than just the standard ones. Uh, a little more expensive, but again, uh, less time you gotta spend, uh, you know, sticking new stickers down, things like that. Um, so you can see here, what we did is we took a six inch piece of the four x four, and we just placed it in the center, and then we attached these legs to it. Now these legs, the measurement from the long edges here is, uh, is 12 inches. And then you can see we 45 to both these sides and make sure that the 45s both come in together uh, to, to get that nice sturdy stand that you're looking for here. Now, some folks will just go ahead and screw these buckets down uh, before putting on stickers. And you know, it's nice, it's permanent. They can stack together that way, but you wind up with a stack that's about this tall and, and you know, fairly wide. Uh, so I decided to do it a slightly different way. And I decided to use magnets on this. So we epoxied some magnets down to it. And uh, we did attach the legs with deck screws here. Uh, just, you know, two and a half inch deck screws that, that go through there. Two of them seems to hold it really uh, nice and tight. Uh, but we epoxied some magnets down to the, the center of the leg. We made all of our measurements and everything first. Uh, and then we actually attached metal plates to the back of the buckets here. So now you can actually just go and attach them. They stand. Uh, really nice and, and simply. Uh, so when you go to set this up and when you go to set your stickers up, again, there are directions on the bottom of the uh, of the of each individual page for the stickers, uh, but you'll notice a bit of a theme. So again, we'll have four of these contraptions. This one is number one. So you can see all around the inside, we've got number one here. That way it's easily viewable by anybody taking the, the standards test there. Uh, but then on the outside, you'll see A, B, C, and D. Uh, those actually will go clockwise around the buckets. And then down in the bottom here, you will again see a one here. Now, the difference between this sticker and some of the other ones is this one, for instance, is 1D. 1D here, you can actually see on the sticker up at the top. Um, so it makes it really nice and easy to, to figure out what goes where. Uh, so you can come and you can set up at a site very, very simply, just nice, clean, set up and then tear down is just as simple. Um, so again, you'll need four of these. So your next set will be twos here. And then all of the, the center circles will have two, two A, two B, two C, two D. Um, and you'll need to again, do that four times. Um, so that's it right now. So we're just talking a little bit about the build. Uh, of course, if you have any questions with this, you can reach out to us at NCA Tech uh, .org. That's uh, ncadtech.org. Uh, it's our website. There's a forum section. There's a contact us section. Uh, please feel free to, to reach out with any questions. Uh, we'll be doing some follow-up videos coming up of actually how to give the exam uh, uh, according to the standard and, and meet the needs there. Um, so once again, just uh, keep an eye out for our next video on how we actually run these test lanes.